Welcome to another 1v1 with Andy Rose. Andy, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So, Andy, you just finished up your rookie season. Looking back at this last year, what was the experience like for you? Uh, I mean, it was obviously a, a great experience. Um, I learned a great deal, and obviously being able to, to have the chance to play. Um, you know, very thankful to the coaches for the opportunity. Uh, very early on in the season as well. Um, I think it was about seven games in when I when I broke through and got to play. Um, and then, you know, I just tried to, to never look back from there and develop as a player every practice, um, learn from, you know, the other center mids, especially Ozzy, Brad, and, and when Tiffert came in. Um, you know, I just felt like uh, I was able to develop my game a lot throughout the year. 23 appearances, 11 of those starts last season. Were you surprised by the contribution that you were allowed to make, or were you expecting to come in and make that sort of contribution? No, I, I was definitely a little bit surprised. Um, you know, I've, I've always been a, a confident player, but when your name's not taken in the Super Draft, you, you know, you, you're not quite sure where you're going to end up. And then coming here, I knew that if I could prove myself in training, um, I had heard the coaches would give you a chance. And so that's just what I tried to do. You know, I tried to give 100% every training session. Um, I talked to a good friend of mine, David Estrada, a lot, and he, he explained that, you know, if you do that every day, you know, day in, day out, then you're going to get your chance. Um, and then I, I tried to take it in the reserve games leading up to my first game, and then, uh, you know, just tried to, to play my game, and, and uh, luckily it worked out. Being part of a historic run for the franchise into the playoffs, did that make it uh, even more special this past year? Yeah, of course, you know, um, every year as a player and as an organization, you want to, you know, progress and, and go one step further. Um, and so obviously making it into the conference finals was great. Um, to, to lose the way we did um, and coming so close in that second leg, I think, leaves us I saw with a big chip on our shoulder and, and just a point to prove this year that we're good enough to, to go all the way and, and win the MLS Cup. Touching on that disappointing loss from last season, does how eager are you to get this year started and kind of pick up where you guys left off? Yeah, I mean, the, the off-season was nice, um, but it felt long just because of the way it ended uh, last season. So everybody in, in, within the, the past two days has seemed very excited, raring to go. Um, everybody looks like they've come in very fit and they're mentally, more than anything, just prepared and, and really excited for March 2nd. With you playing in central mid with both Freddie gone, even though he's an attacker, but then also Jeff Park gone. Does that change your role at all and what they're expecting from you? Uh, we'll see. I mean, the, the players that we'll bring in and the players that are here now have great qualities. Um, you know, those, those were obviously two huge players for us last season and throughout the years for the Sounders, but we have enough quality to cover that um, in the squad at the moment. And then, you know, whatever my role is, the coaches will explain that to me. And, uh, you know, I'm more than happy to take on a bigger role, uh, do what I did last year, whatever they need. So I'm, I'm very excited. Is there, is there another role that you feel comfortable? I mean, we've seen Ziggy put people all over the place. Is there a place where you wouldn't mind moving up to? Yeah, of course. I'll, I'll play anywhere on the field as long as I'm playing. That's the main thing. As long as you're contributing and helping the team win. Uh, you know, I think most players will tell you that they're happy to play anywhere. So obviously I'm you know, very comfortable in, in the role I played last year as sort of a box-to-box -box midfielder. But uh, you know, anywhere they need me, I'm more than willing. You obviously made a big impact last year. So how are you hoping to improve and grow and your goals for 2013? A uh, very similar mindset to, to learn every day, become a, a smarter player more than anything. Um, now that I've got a, a little bit of experience under my belt in the MLS, I just want to progress um, and be more of an influential figure on the field for the team. Um, you know, any chance I get to become a, a, a vital part of the team, you know, it's something that I'll take uh, in, in stride with me. And, you know, hopefully uh, we just have, you know, more success than we did last season with me on the field. All right. Well, thank you for the time. And if you want to check out more 1v1 interviews, make sure you keep it logged on to soundersfc.com. They asked me to do an ad, and I thought, cool. They want me because I play for the Seattle Sounders. Then I find out it's because my wife told them I'm a good dad. It's even better. For me, being a good father is much more important than soccer. So here's my message. Be a good parent. Stay involved with your kid's life. Do something with them. Anything. Take a walk, read a book, maybe go see a Sounders game. We can make it better for our kids by staying involved and showing that we love them.